Hey, hello everyone, what's up? How have you been? Uh, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Uh, if this is your first time visiting my channel, kindly subscribe and also turn on the notification icon to get latest updated by my new videos. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to smudge your picture perfectly. I'm only going to be teaching you the smudging. Uh, no dodge, no burn, no oil paint, but how to get this perfect skin while smudging picture. Uh, if you want the full video of everything on how I start my smudging, how I apply oil paint on my pictures, uh, the other videos are below. You can kindly click on the link to watch, to watch it. So this is the result of the picture I did and this is the before. So let's jump into work. Firstly, I'll go to my smudge. This is what our smudge to look like smudge to something a smudge color in an image so uh, once i click on it uh, it has a special brush you usually make use of i'll click on the icon over here so these are brush uh, if you yet to have the brush the brush is just 1000 naira uh, the link is in the description on how to purchase it very easy to purchase and also it worth your money you won't only use the brush on smart painting alone, we actually use it for studio pictures too. So stay with me when we jump into action. Once I pick my smudge brush, uh, this is what smudge brush looks like. This is what it looks like. And also picking the smudge brush only won't do it. Uh, our settings, the way we set our smudge brush also matters while smudging picture. As for me, I use two different settings. I use my 30 percent for starter and once I'm about to finish it up I use my 10 percent so when I say smudge uh, the brush settings matters a lot okay now it's currently at 23 percent let's try and put it at 100 percent I'm trying to scrub over the picture and see what happens as you can see what happened right now it dragged the picture off from where it is before and this is not what we want. We want a perfect smudge painting. So I'll control Z. When I go to 50% also, 50%, I'm also to drag it. You can see it straight the tail of the eye. And that's not what we need. So that's why we are using a smaller strength. Uh, starting for 30%, 30%. So this is what I use when to drag it to it blows it but did not destroy it so we know how to work around that so once my brush is at 30 percent my screen is at 30 percent i'm going to duplicate this my working layer via by clicking on ctrl j i can actually work on the layer but i love seeing my before and my after and if i'm to make any mistake i can easily go back by clicking on ctrl z or by deleting deleting the layer i'm working on i'm working on my below layer so right now my uh brush length at 80 percent and i'm using my smudge brush right now so i'm going to reduce my brush size and the reason why i'm doing that is that i don't want to drag a to b i want to, i want to smudge the picture but i still want to leave uh the facial structure intact i want the dictates to still be there so that's why i'm reduce, re reducing the brush size so along the way i'm going to be increasing it and reducing it at the same time so let's jump into work so firstly i'm going to stop smudging gently so it's better for you to zoom in to see what you are doing very well especially very starter so i'm going to start smudging gently if you have to make any mistake please don't hesitate to go over by clicking on ctrl z and also make sure while you are smudging and uh, the picture uh don't stay at a particular location don't smudge in a particular location for more than two to three seconds jump to the next one even though it's not all that smooth yet if not you'll be destroying the details that is in that particular area so let's keep smudging gently and also you know we've cropped out some components right now let me up the way i'm working right now so you can see we've cropped out this area and it's looking obvious that we cropped it out to apply our oil paint on so note that while you are smudging the picture you have to blend it blend it with the skin so that it will look that obvious that it was being cropped out so i have to turn it out right now 
can see what I did here. I'm trying to smudge it in with the skin, as you can see right now, so that it won't look obvious that it was cropped out. So you can see what I'm doing right now. So it won't look that obvious that I cropped it out. I'm just trying to create an artwork that will look realistic. So we don't want anything that will make our artwork look otherwise. So that's how we are trying to achieve something perfect right now. As you can see the picture is not all that smooth but at least it's way better than before these are before and these are after for now so we are still going to amend that that's why i say we are using two different settings which is our 30 percent and also our 10 percent right now we are still using our 30 percent to smudge the picture so i'm done with this area for now let me jump to this other area too i'm also going to smudge it gently Smudge it gently. And also, why try to smudge the picture? Don't do, don't smudge your picture zigzag. Uh, if you have to smudge it zigzag, you are going to destroy some details you need there. So you better do it on a straight line for you to get a nice result. And also try to pay attention to details by smudging matters a lot so I'm also done with this part also so let me go straight to the nose right now let me start smudging the nose as you can see while I'm smudging the nose right now I'm going over it I'm trying my possible best not to get to the stack area because I'm to drag it here as you can see I destroy our dictates a little bit let me show you what I'm what I mean right now so while I drag it here you can see this line over here it's crossed over to the dark area which is not what we want from the control z as you can see right now so that's what i meant by dictals so we love to keep all dictals in intact so let's go over the nose gently mind you we are still at 30 percent strength right now that's what we are using to smudge at uh, smudge this area right now so we are going to smudge it gently on the straight line increase your brush size when you see that you are in need of it and when you need to decrease it also decrease it also okay you keep smudging gently to make sure that you don't destroy any details of the picture Keep smudging. Uh, if you yet to subscribe to my channel, I kindly do so. I will be dropping so many videos regarding so many aspects uh, when it comes to the digital world uh, from website design. I think the video is already on my site. You can go download it and watch how to create your own website, your catalog for free of charge. And also, you can also sell your goods and services on it too. Uh, you can turn it to WooCommerce too. So I'll be dropping so many videos from picture picture manipulation, photo retouch, and so on and so forth. And also, if you have any question or you are in need of any files, any of my files, you can kindly contact me on my Facebook, or my Instagram, or you can just drop email. Uh, you can message me on my mail also. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, my whatsapp is unavailable for now but once it does i'll also drop my whatsapp contact below for you guys to contact me there as you can see we are smudging but we are still protecting the details and the picture let's check our before and our after before and after i think you can see some differences there so we are still going to keep smudging gently still going to keep smudging gently we are smudging the picture but we are also protecting the details as you can see as i'm doing over the air if i'm to misuse my smudge brush uh, on the air it's going to make the air look rough which is not what we want so we want to create a perfect artwork so we are still going to keep smudging uh, if you want to practice on this particular picture 
if you wish to practice on this particular picture i will drop the picture in the description below you guys can work on that and the model i'm using right now for my smudge painting is called tony concept uh, it's a mobile photographer uh, and it's very good at what it does i'll drop his instagram on you and also in the description below i can chat it chat him up there and also view some of his work and you can learn from him also so let's keep smudging our picture gently as you can see so far so good we are smudging it right and we are also prote protecting the detail at the same time and no this is the area so many people have issue some don't have issue when it comes to color grading it some don't have issue while it comes to the jam bone but when it comes to smoothening of the picture i know of few people that have issue with that so i think you can learn from this particular video that's why i just decided to do the smoothing alone for this particular picture so do it gently do not rush it uh, if you are trying to create an, a perfect artwork at the time using creating it doesn't matter but the outcome of the picture is all that matters so once you have a perfect artwork nobody will care about the time you make uh, you made this of why creating it so just try to create something perfect for yourself for starters So we are almost done with the first step, we are almost done with the first step. So let me keep on smudging it. As you can see if you have to check the eyebrows, you can see I have blended it uh, with the skin. It's not that obvious again that we cropped it out, apply oil paint on it, more like it was there naturally. So as you can see right now, it's done with that side. So now let's go to the lip. I'm also going to smudge it gently. Gently following the straight line, following the straight line. Not doing it zigzag, doing it zigzag, don't make it look like an artwork. Just make it look rough and that's not what we want right now. So keep on smudging over it. Okay, we're done, almost done with the first step. Okay, this is our first step for now. Uh, before and now after. Before and after. But you can see the picture is not all that smooth. So we are going to resolve that for now. And we can still decide to work on this layer right now, but as I told you earlier on, I love working on multiple layers. So I'm still going to duplicate this layer. Ctrl J. This time around, I will change my brow strength from 30% to 10% 10% So earlier as you can see I'm using a smaller brow This time around I'm going to increase my brow size I'm going to increase it very well So I won't be smudging on a straight line this time around I can do it like that and I can also decide in you know, a straight line too So I'm going to smudge over it this time around I'm not smudging gently I can smudge anywhere I want because we are using 10% strength so it doesn't have much effect on the skin it won't destroy so much facial structure the pressure dictates will still be there so as you can see okay if i'm to turn off this layer now let's check out before and after can you see the difference right now these are before these are after you can you see how smooth the skin is right now so we are also going to do it on all the area with small done. So going to do it on all the areas small John. I'm also to turn off my before and after now. You can see the difference there. So let me go down below, increase my brow size. As you can see, it's not destroying any dictus for us. It's just smoothing in the area we just smudged. can see you can see we have a perfect smudging it's 
perfect x and also the facial adjectives is still there we have not destroyed anything so far so good as you can see right now the adjectives are still there and we have a smooth smudge painting so that's how I do my smudge painting. Hope you guys learned from my smudging so far. These are before, these are after. These are total before, these are total after. So the next step is for me to apply color, but I'm not going to be doing that on this particular tutorial. That will be on my next tutorial. And also, if you want to apply colors on it, there are other videos down below for you to do that. And also, when it comes to the dodge and bone, I also created a particular video that focuses on dodge and bone when it comes to smudge painting you guys can learn very 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 well from that so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me uh below my details are below you can contact me there and also purchasing the smudge brush there's a link for you to purchase the smudge brush below too thanks for watching guys one love